Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. What happens when you can no longer denounce your political opponents as Russian spies? This is a major problem in the Democratic Party right now, but they have a solution. You just call them white nationalists instead. It's every bit as stupid and slanderous, and it's even more effective in shutting them up. But what does it do to the country when you whip up hatred and fear like that? We'll tell you just ahead. But first tonight, the Attorney General William Barr has finally confirmed what has been obvious for months now. The Obama administration spied on Donald Trump's presidential campaign. Nothing like this has happened in modern American history. Barr dropped the news almost in passing during testimony before Congress this morning. I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. It's a big deal. So you're not, you're not suggesting, though, that spying occurred? I don't, uh, well, uh, I guess you could, I, I think there was a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated, but I'd need to explore that. Well, there's no disputing the points that Barr made, especially the first one. Spying on a presidential campaign is a big deal, especially when it was authorized by a rival administration. Just imagine if a year from now, the Trump administration allowed the FBI to surveil officials in the Kamala Harris for President campaign. Imagine if, when caught, Trump pointed to opposition research generated by the Republican National Committee as justification for that surveillance. How would the media react to that story? Well, like it was a major jaw-dropping scandal. And this show would heartily agree with that. We would not defend that. Law enforcement should never be used as a partisan political tool, no matter who it benefits. But the media don't feel that way about Obama's spying. They refuse to admit it even was spying. Professional dumb person Jennifer Rubin of the Washington Post attacked the attorney general for daring to bring up the topic at all. She called Barr Trump's toady. CNN, meanwhile, assured its viewers that there is little evidence that spying occurred. But that's a lie. There is plenty of evidence that spying occurred, and we've had it for months. In 2016 and 17, the FBI wiretapped Paul Manafort, Trump's former campaign chairman. Former Trump aide Carter Page was spied on extensively by the U.S. government, even though it was obvious from the very first day that he was not a Russian spy, please. Last year, we learned that the FBI used an informant to feed it information from inside the Trump campaign. This is all spying. There's no other word for it. When Trump complained about being spied on, Democrats and their employees in the media called him a nutcase and a liar. There is no evidence to support any allegation that the FBI or any intelligence agency placed a spy in the Trump campaign. His baseless claims of spies. This so-called spy issue, first of all, there's absolutely no evidence there was a spy. So it's really a fake issue. It's this phony baloney story about a spy in the campaign. To call them a conspiracy theory is to give them too much credit. Just fake facts. All the other people who've seen the intelligence in your own party are saying it, there's just no there there. I'm wondering what it will take for you, Congressman Zeldin, yeah. to say he's full of it. He lied. He's crazy. It's a conspiracy theory. A lot of Republicans said that, too, by the way, and we should remember their names. And as it turns out, there was, in fact, a conspiracy afoot to hide the truth. But Trump was not leading that conspiracy. Jim Clapper was. Was the FBI spying on Trump's campaign? Well, I, uh, no, he, they were not. They were spying on a, a term I don't particularly like, but on what the Russians were doing, trying to understand were the Russians infiltrating, trying to gain access, trying to gain leverage and influence. So which, why doesn't he which like is what they do? So why doesn't he like that? He should be happy though. Well, he should doing. be. He should be. Got that? The Obama administration wasn't spying. They were just watching him without his knowledge on behalf of the opposing party in the closing months of a bitter presidential campaign. No big deal. Trump ought to be grateful for that. The Obama people cared enough to surveil his staff. They're patriotic that way. They're big-hearted people. God, come on. There's got to be a limit to how much lying a country can take from its leaders before things start to fall apart. And we've definitely reached our limit. Russian collusion did not happen. Domestic spying during a presidential campaign did happen, and we have a right to know who participated in it, who authorized it, and what their motives were. We have a right to know that immediately, right now, without redactions. This country does not belong to retired Obama staffers and intel agency heads and mindless CNN contributors who nod gravely as they say something they don't understand. No. 
It's our country. This is a democracy, and we ought to act like it's a democracy.